So should I go for Kaido Harakaza or should I be going for Arlecchino? That is what you might be thinking and you're probably in a situation where you're like, hmm, is this the best course of action that I'm supposed to take? Which one is it? Kaza or Legino? Now both of them have a really, really good spot within the meta. One's a DPS, one is probably the most broken support in the game. One of the most broken supports in the game. Two good gaza has so so many buffs in his kit and it just makes him such a powerful unit to have not only because he's an animal character but also because of what he does within his actual kit now for his talents you pretty much can you know upgrade everything and it will help boost your damage normal attacks aren't that important for a character like gaza right his elemental burst and elemental skill is where you want to focus most of your time on. Azaha is a little bit special. Why is that? Exactly because his actual need for elemental mastery is pretty much up there. If you can stack as much elemental mastery on him as possible, you'll deal as much damage as possible. That's because he's animal and because of this right here. Azaha has a really special buff that the more elemental mastery you have, the more amount of damage that you are going to give your party member or the swirl reaction that you did. This were Hydro, you're going to be giving a bonus elemental damage bonus to Hydro because of this little talent right here, which makes him a busted carry. Not only that, but because you can run Veridescent on him and he does swirl reaction, you can get an entire elemental resistance red of 40%. For the element you infuse. That is just a lot already. This makes him such a needed character for so many teams, and even a team for our Lucino probably has Kaido Harakasa. He is a broken, broken unit. So if I would have told you from the very get go, Kaido Harakasa or our Lucino, personally, I would say go for Kasa. He is so universal, you can use him on so many teams, it is a no brainer for me. But if you want, a DPS character, you want something new, you want something fun, Arlecchino probably would be the best bet. But he is just way too broken not to have. I haven't changed my Kaza build in so so long and it's just so easy to build him. Back elemental mastery on him. Still using Iron Sting because I, I just I just haven't gone ahead and used the Z Fox Moonlight, which is probably one of his best weapons. And it just makes the most sense. Uh, Kaza just needs an element of mastery and he's good to go. Now in terms of his actual you know, reliability, 100% reliable, so so easy to use. He's a little bit clunky to use when you're trying to get a specific infusion, but when you're just going ahead and you know, just going out by yourself trying to do a mono team or something like that, it is, it is pretty easy to get the element that you want. Now Kaza is not by any means a weak character. He is strong, and he has plunging attack that does a lot of damage. He has his ultimate ability, which does damage, damage over time, additional damage, and, you know, obviously the slashing damage, which is so, so nice. And you get a lot of elemental swirl that also deals more damage. So not only does he deal damage support, he's also just so overall one of, one of the greatest characters. He is so yeah, not only that, but his artifacts, it, they're really easy to get. Not only can you farm them if you really want to, but you can farm any other artifact set, even the newest ones, and then just strong box it, you know, the Verdescent set. It's so easy to do that now. And it's been there for a very long time since version like 2.0 or something like that. So it's really, really easy to get the artifacts that you want for Kaza. And that's, what, that's a massive bonus, a massive bonus. Now his weapon choices are super easy as well. I already talked about it a little bit, but you pretty much only want Elemental Mastery on his weapon and he'd be so good to go. A lot of people do tend to use the Sacrificial Sword for some energy recharge, which is also really good. That also means that you can use his Elemental Skill more than once at you know a certain percentage it's it also makes him really really good and makes the elemental infusion that much easier to obtain this is also a pretty good weapon for him if you're trying to get a decent weapon now his main and slot weapon which is which is freedom sworn right right here freedom sworn is definitely a decent weapon um but it is no longer the best in slot for him at least not what I think. Um, although this, you know, it increases damage, does punching attack damage, it increases, it does a lot of things. But what it doesn't do is give you the little bit of energy recharge that you might want. And which Zephos Moonlight does. Zephos Moonlight gives you energy recharge, which is massive. 
and it gives you the elemental mastery and a decent amount of base attack. This is just such a good weapon for him. It's, it's kind of silly just not using the weapon on him. And it's a four star. So yeah, really, really good stuff. Now for his constellations, his C1 ability is so good. You can pretty much stop at C1 and you have a fully fledged and fully realized castle. Obviously C2 will be really nice for a little bit of mental mastery increase and himself and his you know teammates or whatever and c6 obviously changes the character right but for orlochino orlochino is going to be an easy character to build but a hard character to get the most amount of stuff on right be right so her artifacts are going to be pretty hard to farm because not only is it in a shared domain and you can't really strong box it but you have to really get a certain amount of things other than elemental mastery like cause would which is I find pretty easy to get and now here is the artifact sets and you can actually see what it does it gives you 18% attack and the four piece gives you a bond of life 54% max with all three stacks this is massive which means it's going to deal a lot of damage and that is that's pretty nice to have might be a little bit more difficult to farm that's it that's the only issue I have with it now for her best slot weapon we talked about you know, causes Freedom Sworn not being, you know, the best. This is just by far her best weapon. It just gives everything that she needs. It's basically just, it's tailored just for her. It is insane. The, the stats seem similar to Jade's Spear, but the actual, what it does, it's just insane. Grants Bond of Life 25% when a charge attack is an important. That's just so easy to get. And then you get a damage bonus of 12%. And then when your life uh, of bond life is greater than 30%, you get more damage bonus. It's just so broken for her. It, it just does a lot. And that makes it a perfect weapon for her. Which is going to be pretty hard to, to battle. Pretty hard to, to, you know, make it a good case that she doesn't need this weapon. So there is that. And not to mention also that her her kit is also just really good. She has the Bond of Life directives, which makes her actual damage just super broken. Whenever the opponents have Bond of Life, or the Blood Dead directive rather, um, whenever you charge attack or use your burst, you get a Bond of Life. The more Bond of Life you have, the greater the damage you output. You guys can see this little gif that they have here, or gif, whatever. Um, it sort of so sad, right? You deal like 200 damage in the beginning right look at that it does nothing and then once you start to actually deal damage crit it just goes insane um the, the burst just looks pretty cool i don't think it does the most crazy thing but um it does heal your orlachino which is really really nice so if you see you have bond of life here cancels up heals super easy and uh yeah to so the talents all of the talents probably because she uses normal attack she uses the elemental skill she uses the burst all together and sort of makes it a fully used kit and not only that but she is going to be on field a lot of the time also has the ability to you know do e skill do burst and then leave and then his burst still goes and still does infusion which is very nice our legion is going to be on the field most of the time making most of your you know time on field being our Lachino, doing normal attacks, doing charge attacks, burst, whatever it may be. So that is the differences between them. At least that's what I think. Though our Lachino is going to be a pretty cool character. And she's probably going to be more fun to play than Kaza. I don't know. Both of them have their benefits. Kaza has a lot of overworld benefits. I do think that our Lachino can do some flying with her charge attack, which is super, super dope. So both of them have a point on that. But yeah, I definitely recommend Kaidara Kaza as a character that you should invest in. So if you're wondering Kaidara Kaza or the go or Latino, you definitely go for Kaza. Definitely go for Kaza. He's just such a good character not to guess that it's it's kind of hard to miss. I definitely recommend him. Only a few more days left before he leaves the banners. So make sure you make your decision very soon. That's all. Thank you for watching.